that the Conservative Party is beholden to the uh, National Firearms Association uh, in Canada, considering that their own document on this as it relates to what they're running on in the election is almost a carbon copy of what the association is asking for. So this brings me to what I mentioned a few moments ago, and that's an issue that happened in the House of Commons Standing, Public, uh, Standing Committee on Public Safety and National Security. So I really wish I could share a prop in here, but I won't because that's against the rules. But I draw to the attention of members two particular cartoons. I'm looking at them, so I'll try to descri describe them to the best of my ability. Two cartoons that were issued by the NFA, the National Firearms Association in Canada, that were quite uh, demeaning in their approach in their representation of the member from Oakville and our Deputy Prime Minister. Um, there is another one that uh, has uh, the uh, Prime Minister in it and uh, what appears to be his wife. And these are demeaning in the fact that they try to associate um, fearful women of guns. And there are, are other individuals standing in the picture holding guns saying, I think we'll be fine. And so the committee, and, and by, any, by any measure, Nobody in this House should accept those as being a proper way to engage in our democratic society. But in any event, the Standing Committee on Public Safety and National Security brought forward a motion to their committee meeting on, um, uh, in February that said, and I want to read it into this to, to the record in the House, it said that the House of Commons Standing Committee on Public Safety and National Security condemn the National Firearms Association and statements made by Sheldon Clare, President, on February 16th, 2021, in a video posted online with regards to the introduction of Bill C-2021, which states, quote, revisit their old woodworking and metal uh, working skills and construct guillotines and again to which there was laughter that would really be the best kind of committee of public safety to get reestablished. if they want to make it about public safety that was the way the sound of the person's voice is not uh, in, in not in a joking way he was not joking I don't think they were they understand that this is not New Zealand, this is not the United Kingdom, this is not Australia. This is a country made up of people who, who've, been, who've been here for thousands of years, are Ibra Aboriginal people, immigrants from Europe who fled tyranny, who fought against tyranny, and no tyranny when they see it. That's what this is, that, uh, and this, is, my friends, is tyranny. So the House of Commons uh, Standing Committee introduced this motion asking the committee to condemn a comment made by the National Firearms Association president that specifically referred to their committee as a committee that should go back to work, uh, studying woodworking and metalworking skills and construct guillotines. That's what, was, that's what the National Firearms Association president said. And all the committee asked was that the, the, the comments be condemned. Well, I'll fast forward to the vote on that. And you know how the vote went on that, Madam Speaker? Everybody voted in favor except for four members. The member from Lakeland, the member for Battle River Crowfoot, the member for, member for Medicine Hat Card, Cardson Warner, and the member for Langley Aldergrove. They didn't vote against it, they abstained. They abstained from voting on that. And I went back and I watched the video on that. And I watched the, the, the rationale that the member for Lakeland used in trying to put that into an in-camera meeting. She basically said, well, this is an issue that if somebody's life feels threatened, they should be contacting the police and therefore we really shouldn't be talking about this in public because if they did, then it's an ongoing investigation. What a load of crock, Madam Speaker, with all due respect. This is a public statement that had been made in the public about not, not somebody being attacked individually, but specifically about what the committee should focus its work on to focus its work on 
revisiting their old woodworking and metal skills to construct guillotines. And the members from Lakeland, Battle River, Crowfoot, Medicine Hat, Carson Warner, and Langley Aldergrove couldn't even bring themselves to vote in favor of that motion condemning those words. And you gotta wonder, Madam Speaker, why would that be? How tight do you have to be intertwined with the National Firearms Association to not vote in favor of that? Well, I think I already demonstrated that by telling you how intertwined the leader of the opposition's policy and platform commitments on firearms is intertwined with the National Firearms Association's requests. And so, Madam Speaker, as I come to the conclusion of my speech today, I leave you with the thought that perhaps this bill is, or the opposition to this bill is less about people coming here and trying to genuinely look for solutions as much as it is being directed by an organization that has a stranglehold on a party. And nothing else can, can, I hear people from the other side saying, wow, wow, wow. Well, then you explain to me, Madam Speaker, through you, would they explain to me why it is that those four members that I pointed out would somehow not have the willingness to vote in favor. And what makes it even worse is they tried somehow to thinking they were skating the issue by abstaining. Well, if they were against it, and they truly believed what the member from Lakeland said, well, why didn't they vote against it? Because they knew that by voting in favor of this, they would be sending a message back to the organization that that party is so intertwined with that would not be beneficial to their future campaigns. That's the only conclusion that I can come to. So, Madam Speaker, this legislation is necessary. We need to move forward with it. We need to protect Canadian lives. We need to listen to the chiefs of police that I've already quoted in here earlier so that we can save lives in Canada and stop playing games to the benefit of some people in this country that are trying to promote, and rightfully so, their position on the matter, but unfortunately are completely intertwined with the Conservative Party.